Born in Giarville, Hague, Normandy, close to the coast, Jean Franois Millet was a French painter and one of the founders of the Barbizon School in rural France. Moving to Paris after his marriage, he befriended Constant Troyan, Narcisse Diaz, Charles Jacques, and T. H. Oder Rousseau, artists who, like him, would become associated with the Barbizon School. After 1848, he devoted himself to genre scenes glorifying the family life of the hard-working farmer population, whom he observed in the region of Barbizon. The thematic simplicity of these pictures doesn't belong to the anecdotal vein of genre, painting. He painted the grandeur and dignity of peasants with thick, expressive and liberal brushwork. In 1850, he entered into an arrangement with Sentier, who provided the artist with materials and money in return for drawings and paintings. But he was always short of money, so he wrote to his friend, Sentier, try to turn my pictures into money, sell them no matter at what price, but send me 100 francs, 50, or even 30. His poverty reached such a point that Millet had, but to francs left. At this time, it was his friend Th. Oder Rousseau, who actively helped him. He intended to complete the painting, Peasants Spreading Manor in time for the Paris World's Fair of 1855, but he was unable to do so. However, Rousseau purchased an unfinished painting from him, probably to help him with his debts. And his painting, The Peasant Grafting, was sold to an American for 4,000 francs cash, who remained invisible, but paid in good gold through the hands of Rousseau. This generous stranger wanted to remain unknown. A few weeks later, however, it turned out that the fabulous American to be no other than Rousseau, who wanted to hide his good deed. When you lose all your wealth and honor, so when everyone leaves you, the one who comes up silently and grabs your hand is a true friend. Do you have a friend like this? Are you that kind of friend?